Well, hello guys, here Mr. G, and this one is going to be another video about acid and bases. First off, we're going to do is to recap quickly what we done last year, but before that, subscribe for the channel, and thumb up so you can get the notification we get next and the videos I post on regular basis. Last time we were speaking about acid and bases, we define an acid as a proton donor because a proton is being given away. And then a base is a proton acceptor because it's been accepting or taking in uh, protons and we refer it as H plus. We were able to identify an acid and base with any chemical reaction and then um, we finally end up identifying the conjugate acid or acid conjugate base pair. There is one example. Now today we're going to be talking about two other concepts and for this one we're going to begin with these two reactions here. So here, real fast, we are going to identify the acid-base conjugate pair, NH3, you can see the family is NH4, and as we go here, you can see that you start with three hydrogens, you end up with four hydrogens. So this substance, from reactants to product, is being accepting a, a proton, and therefore this one is a base. You can see here, if I write NH3 became NH4+, plus. So one proton was gained in the process, and this is the base. Therefore, this one is the conjugate acid, and it's quite simple. And if we go to the other substance, in this case, is water. You have H2O and you have OH. From reactants to product here, you can see that um, one hydrogen was gone. You're starting with two hydrogen, for instance, and you have only one. So H2O became OH minus. You can easily see that one hydrogen is gone. Therefore, this one is the acid. And this one, this substance here, the product is the conjugate base. This one is quite simple. I hope you understand. So it's very simple. Let's go to the next reaction here. We're going to do the same. You can see that this substance here is the family of that one. It's quite simple to identify that part. Now, what happened from reactants to product? You have here this hydrogen that is not there anymore. It's gone. So you started with H. C2H3O2, and you end up with C2H3O2 minus. You can see that one hydrogen is gone, therefore, this one is an acid, and then this often here will be the conjugate base. It is very simple, guys. And now the other substance there which in this case is the water here, the family is H3O+, and you can see now that from reactants to product, what happened is that this substance of water has been accepting a protein, you have H2O, but then you end up with h 3 O plus. So one proton was taken away. Therefore, guys, this one is the base, and then this one will be the conjugate acid. It's quite simple, guys, but now the point of this video is not this conjugate or acid-base conjugate pair. The main purpose of this video is to see that water now here is a base and in the first reaction was an acid. So we can see that some substances can sometimes be acid and sometimes are bases. So this substance here is what we refer as ampholite. That substance is referred to be an ampholite. Okay, so let's go to the definition of ampholite. All right, and here we have the definition of ampholite and amphiprotic. Ampholite is a substance that can either be an acid or a base, but amphiprotic, the term amphiprotic, every time you see the word protic, every time you see the word protic involved, there we refer in as protons being either donated or, or, or accepted. In this case, an amphiprotic is a substance that can either donate protons or protons accept. It can either donate or take proton. That is the amphiprotic. What is one example, but it's not the only example. It is quite tricky sometimes. Okay, no. so now let's see one important example. When a hydrochloric, for instance, uric acid, H2SO4, 
dissociates or ionizes in water. When this one ionizes in water, let's say you reacted with H2O liquid. Now there is two step dissociation here. The first time what is going to happen is that it's going to donate only one proton and it's going to become HSO4 minus. So it gave only one proton plus H3 O plus aqueous. This is what happened. So that is the first step when ionizing in water. Step one, it donates only one proton. Now later on, this substance still ionizes in water again. So the H is of four minus aqueous. It's going to ionize in water again, guys. It's going to ionize in water and it's going to donate again that proton that is left over. So it becomes SO4 to minus plus H3O plus one more. So you can see now that it ionized in water. If we identify quickly and do not get intimidated, but what I'm doing here, guys, this one is step two. Now, when I say step two, it's a step two for sulfuric acid to ionize completely, okay? So this one here initially is a acid, all right? And the water here is the base, all right? That is quite simple, guys, okay? So now, now here, in the second reaction, this one is the acid. I'm not going to identify the acid base conjugate pair. This one is the acid and water is the base. So you can see that water in this reaction is not an ampholite. Now, which one is the ampholite in this specific chemical reaction of sulfuric acid to become um, ionized completely? Now, in this chemical reaction, this one here is the one that it can be the ampholite. That substance there is the ampholite because that one there can donate a proton or accept a proton, guys. Water, in this case, what is a general example, but not in this chemical reaction we have. So you have to be careful there. You can finish the um, acid-base conjugate pair, but let's quickly explain that one. So let's go to see that substance, that specific substance. We have the HSO4 minus, okay? As an acid. Now, that one as an acid, what will happen? It donate a proton. So it's HSO4. I hope you're following me. This one could be tricky. HSO4. As an acid, what does acid do? An acid donate a proton. So that one will become SO4 to minus plus H plus. You can see that this substance here now is an acid right there. So here it is acting as an acid. That is important. That is HSO4 acting as an acid. But now let's see HSO4. Let's see the HSO4 acting as a base. Acting as a base. So you have HSO4 minus plus hydrogen because a base accept a proton. So if that HSO4 accept one proton, it become H2SO4. In this case, that substance there is acting as a base. So we can see here an acid and a base, the same substance. Now be careful because when there is a question and they ask for an ampholite, people quickly run and say water is the example. But be careful because it depends the equation you have. In this chemical equation, you could see that water is not the one. If you go to the acid base conjugate pair, this one will be the base. You can see that it is a base, it's a conjugate base, but it's a base. But here in the second step, it is an acid. Now, here is how to represent each of them as either an acid. This one here is the equation to represent that one as an acid. And this one is the equation to represent that substance as a base. That is important.
because the question could be represent the unfolate you identify as an acid or as a base. Guys, this is the end for this video. I hope you understand. It's a very important video. Next time, we're going to be talking some other important concepts like concentrated acid, dilute acid, the difference between those. Subscribe for the channel. I'll see you next time. Mr. G here.